All right, today on the Points Unknown channel, we're uh, cleaning some fork seals. We've heard, well, I've often heard that you can clean out fork seals instead of just replacing them completely with uh, old 35 millimeter film. Um, and I didn't have any old film canisters lying around, but what I did have, which probably a lot of people have as well, is old negatives, and I even found some that I'll definitely never want to save because they're blank um, or overexposed. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. Beth was over here surveying her versus 300 and getting it prepped for a big trip she has coming up and looked down at the forks and noted that there appears to be some pretty good leakage going on, but there's less than 5,000 miles on the bike and fork seals really shouldn't be going at that rate. So I'm sure they're just dusty. They got something going on inside. And so we'll, uh, instead of pulling the forks apart and redoing everything, we'll uh, look at just cleaning the seals. So we're gonna start just by getting everything cleaned up here and uh, so we can make sure that what we're doing is making a difference. Um, contact cleaner, brake cleaner, probably ideal things for this. I don't have any of that right now, but I do have card cleaner, which is, uh, you know, close enough for something toxic to uh, clean these stanchions off with. Next thing we're gonna do is pop the dust cap, dust seal off. And in there. So just a flat out screwdriver. Get it up under the seal there, and it should just pop right up. All right, get that up and out of the way. And then we gotta get the dirt and gunk out of there. So to start with, we'll get a rag and just get in there and see if we can't lift out any dirt that's stuck in there. And then the next step, I believe, is 35 millimeter film part, which is where we just get it wrapped around the fork here, and then get, try and get an edge in there. Oh yeah, it just slides right in there, in, in between the oil seal and the fork stanchion. So let's get a little more out if we can. Again, just get that corner in, slid down in between the fork stanchion and the dust seal, or sorry, and the oil seal. And once we've cleaned it all out, just go ahead and pump it a couple times. See if anything pops out. Looks perfectly clean though. So I think we're good. I think it's clean. Good. Last, we're just gonna clean the dust seal, get that all nice and shiny, and then uh, slide it back down. After uh, pumping it a few times, checking it twice, making sure that we're not getting any new oil coming out onto here. Uh, packed um, a bit of super slick grease back into the space in between the dust seal and the oil seal. And then just slid the dust seal back on, uh, pumped it a couple more times, made sure everything's nice and clean so if it does start leaking again, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, and that's, uh, that's a quick job all done. Um, like we, like we showed with the uh, pump and the fork, um, doesn't seem to be leaking at all anymore. Um, I did, uh, I didn't take video of it, but I did modify the film. I cut it into a little hook kind of shape. Um, I found that with how tight the seal was in there, that I actually ended up breaking some of the perforations on the side of the film um, and, and worried that some of the perforated bits were gonna end up in the seal. I was gonna end up with a bigger problem than I started with. So I cut the other piece in, into this hook shape um, and that seemed to work. Uh, well, at least it didn't fall apart while I was putting it in there. So um, perhaps just a little modification to the to the film trick. But uh, but overall, a very easy fix. Got the fork back together, and um, that's it for a uh, another exciting video on Points Unknown.